Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi Ego City the Crypto Pi. And today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin because Bitcoin will indicate what the market is doing, right guys? So um just um let's just take a look, right? So we're on the four hour here. Let's take a look at six hours as well. Um the daily. Well, the daily is still above the 21 EMA. However, I do think we need some kind of uh retracement. So guys, if this is really the bottom you know which I'm not calling for but if it is really the bottom you can see that you can also get above the 21 EMA and then under it again right in order to really bottom out and like show that we have a 1 and then a 2 and then we perhaps get a 3 and a 4 and a 5 right so that's kind of what I'm looking at um, and I mean it's definitely not definitive that this is uh, that we're done right so if we uh, let's just zoom back in on the 6 hour here or actually, you know, I'm, I like the six hour a lot, right, guys? But I know a lot of you guys are not pro at, uh, like, you don't have the pro edition from Trading View, so you don't have it. So that's why I'm going here on the four hour for you, so because you guys can have exactly the same as I have right here, right? Um, so yeah, looking at that, guys. Um, well, this is obvious. This is an obvious rising wedge um, that you know I, I saw coming. So uh, based on that. You know, I, I just had to take a little short and I definitely have more short positions up here But it didn't wick there again. So I'm, I'm just short from like up here, right? So um, I'm definitely in profit you, you can even see it right this is like my my risk reward. So Yesterday I was talking to people right so this was very pretty risky right But the risk would get lower if I would get filled here as well obviously with bigger orders so um, and I don't need to put my stop that high I only put that stop that high because you sometimes have crazy wicks okay so it's only for that reason like in reality guys the risk is only like this okay so um, I only have it there because of crazy wicks that could appear and uh, w once we move away you know actually like fall lower then I'll you know I'll, I'll definitely put my stop somewhere here so I cannot lose much um, now this looks like a lot right and I mean uh, it, it isn't okay guys it's it's not all that much um, wait where was it, it was somewhere somewhere here I think yeah somewhere here so um, I mean it's a risk reward of 1.15 if it if it just goes down here however you know my my original area is the 0.5 to 618 so if it just falls a little bit lower even then the risk reward even gets a lot better right so um, it was not the least uh, risky trade that that I can take. However, you know, uh, I count five waves. So based on on the whole thing that um, I count five waves, right? So, and you can also see it if you take. So this is the bottom, right? And then we take like this this top here. Um, well, w what you see here is a negative two three six. It's like hit nicely here. Then we have another confluence is if you take this low and this high um, the next 618 is hit nicely here so um, you know is, is it is it definitive like so that's why I'm feeling okay you know have taken a short um, right now because a lot of points have been hit and if we take the Fibonacci uh, trend based FIP extension right from this bottom here to this top and then this bottom well once again guys this is uh, a uh, leading fifth wave diagonal right so if this is well you know we can't say that just yet but it could per you know it could be a leading fifth wave diagonal what that means is that we get a diagonal and in, in the in the f in the five waves right and it can only occur in uh, the, the first or the fifth wave okay so you have to understand that that's just some rules of Elliott wave and um, so and we know it can occur in the first wave so this could very well be your first wave um, if it is and it comes back down here and it starts bouncing um, then we we could be looking for a potential big three right um, which would be we would be looking up here so um, basically uh, around that next six on eight or so around seven three perhaps even 7.7 seven. Um, now if it isn't what what is what could also be the case like as it went over yesterday guys which is an AB what what if this is just an ABC um, 
right? Could be as well. We won't know until the bounce happens, right? If a bounce happens. So, am I willing to take trades here? Yeah, I'm willing to go long here, you know, and close my short. Uh, well, why? Why is that? You, you, you might think, right? Well, it's quite simple, guys, right? It's quite simple. Um, because I would simply risk a little bit, right? I would get out of the trade if it closes below this, the 0.65, right? That is just my system. I'm not telling you to, to take exactly the same system, but that's my system, right? And if, if you want, maybe you want to, maybe you, your system is to get out at the 786, but to me, that works very well. And, uh, you know, it, it hasn't really done me any wrong. So, if it gets below the 6.5, it usually just keeps trucking at least to the 8.86. Um, 7.86 sometimes. But, um, you know, you, you still have to see that. So, you're going to keep loose. So, and your probability is pretty high that if it closes below the 6.5 on a higher time frame, like the 4 hour, um, that you will get a new low. You know, and then we'll, we'll be talking about that 5.3 to 5.5k area once again right so um that's just something to keep in mind guys so i mean that is the reason why you know i'm willing to, to take along here right i'm definitely willing to take along here however if it if it just plops through and i see only bearishness uh, you know what, what what you what you usually want to see guys when you've come dropping down is uh well this is not a good example right because this is just madness um but what usually happens guys you either get big wicks to the downside or you and your candles so you want to see your red candles become smaller and smaller so what we will soon see well i cannot predict the future guys but what i think we'll see is like bigger red candles and then they'll get smaller and smaller and smaller until you know we bottom out now do you want to like exactly get the bottom for it to, to close your short or go long i mean that's up to you right um it, you know in this case since i don't know whether this will be an abc or a uh a impulsive fifth five waves up um i just have to go by i cannot simply just close it right i need to wait and uh, see if, if you know things are holding and obviously i'll be moving my stops up accordingly based on pivot points so guys i do my stops based on pivot points pivot points are like you know you go up then down again so you would put it up here right um etc or if you if you're bullish here right obviously you would be you put your stop under here right this is your pivot point you put it somewhere here um or you can put it based on fibonacci's right so uh, in, in this case, in this short, let's say we get under the 382. Why wouldn't I move my stop just on above the 236, right? Uh, to, to just lock in that more profit. When it's under the 0.5, you can move it a little bit above the 382. Because why not, right? You give yourself some moving space. Um, you always need to do that. You need to give the trade some space to brief. Um, if you don't do that, let's say, okay, guys. Let's say when it moved down yesterday, right? I was already nicely in profit here, um, not not that much, but and then I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'll uh, I'll put my stop at break even, okay? Well, guess what, guys? I would have been stopped out at break even. That's why you give your trade uh, space to brief, all right? You put your stop, you you at least give it some space to brief. And if you are not feeling well about the trade, you're in with too much money. Um, that's all there is to it. So. Um, yeah, definitely looking for that retracement. And since I saw five waves, I'm, I'm short, right? That's just the, the answer. But am I bearish? No, I'm not. I'm not bearish. So it's weird, right? I'm in a short, but I'm not bearish. Well, why am I not bearish? Because we haven't been above this 21 EMA in a, in a while, and we, we got above it. Now, if we close below it, am I bearish directly? No, because we could potentially just make a higher low and then go up from there, right? Um, I just want to see the bounce. So that is just the way I play it right now, guys. And um, I mean, everyone plays with their own rules, right? And uh, I mean, I, I just know that we need a retracement. You know, it just tells me. It tells me, right? Five waves are done. Well, what do you do after five waves, guys? Well, you know, you expect a retracement. 
uh, whether that will be a 382, a 0 0.5, a 618, we don't know. We don't know. And it will tell you, right? It will tell you when it gets there. So um, all you can do is just move your stops, right? That's all you can do. So uh, based on all that, guys, I mean, that that's pretty much uh, my Bitcoin update, right? That is all that's going on. And uh, so when Bitcoin retrace and it does get a bounce, look to get in on the altcoins, right? Because the altcoins will bounce as well, the bigger altcoins, right? Your, your, well, Ethereum is kind of weak, but uh, EOS, I think EOS is pretty strong, right? Mm. Your NEO, though, <laughs> NEO is strong. So NEO will definitely get a strong bounce once again. And uh, there, there's a few others, I just don't know them, but it's top of my head. Because I, you know, I just like to play NEO uh, at the moment, right? So, yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting patiently, guys. And, uh, Patience, guys. That's all there is to it, right? It's patience, counting your waves, um, having your good risk management, and uh, just you know, wait for the money to come in. Um, that's uh, that's what I'm doing at the moment. You know, that's uh, my Bitcoin update, guys. Right? So we couldn't break this. Oh yeah, one one more thing, guys. Um, if we look at the daily, right? Not a lot of people will tell you this, but um, on the daily, guys. So what, what we have here is right. It's kind of like a uh, a lower high than this, right? But on the our side, we got a higher high. Right? So lower high, higher high. Well, that's a um, hidden bearish RSI divergence, right? If that happens on the daily, that definitely tells me we need a pullback. That that was another sign, right? So you get you just keep stacking for your case of. Uh, you know the trade you want to take so in total guys we have five waves um we had all these uh, fibonacci's that come together right we had the algo targets we have the hidden bearish rsi divergence on on the daily um i mean that's enough for me to build a case to go short okay so and that that's how i do it guys all right you just build a case for yourself and uh, you take the trade you stick to your plan if it gets stopped out, oh well, let it be stopped out, you know. It, it is what it is, right? Sometimes you take some lose, uh, some losses and uh, just let your winners be bigger, right? So that's all I have to say, guys. Also, if you're not in my Telegram yet, join up with the CryptoPies blog where you can ask me any questions, ask other people questions. It's just a great chat box to be in, right? So I told Jack Deacon, don't post pump and dump groups, right? Or... Uh, uh, no, not Jack Deacon. I don't think he posted it. Um, someone posted the pump and dump group. Um, so I'm not a fan of that, guys. Because all that is, is you follow the leader. And uh, he most, well, he will have bought in that cryptocurrency way before you. And he just wants you to buy in so he can sell on top of you. Okay? Um, that's all there is to it. So, yes, you can make money if you're very lucky. And uh, you need to be in and out quick. Right? Um... That is just something that you could do, but uh, definitely not recommend it. Um, so that's why I removed it. Um, then let's see what else is going on here. So we got consolidation. Well, just some news. I don't you can see, guys. These kind of things don't tell me anything, right? There's news, and I have my own analysis, right? Um, I definitely don't take. So when I look at analysis, I, you know, I know some good people as well. And I look at their analysis and, you know, I compare it to mine. I never, you know, follow their opinion just like that. But uh, I definitely take it into consideration, right? It's totally, something totally different. Um, but uh, the news guys, nah. Uh, you know, they, they're, uh, they're a bunch of, I don't know. Not going to say it. Um, so, yeah, we got some charts here. So, yeah, guys, uh, join up with that. You know, it's a great chat box. Also, join up with the CryptoPies feed where I post all my videos, post about upcoming ICOs. When I find a new ICO, I'll tell you guys about it so you get, you can get yourself whitelisted for it. And, uh, you know, when it comes out, then uh, when the sale is up, you can participate, right? Because if you're not whitelisted, you cannot participate. So uh, that's pretty much that. Also, follow me on Twitter, which is twitter.com slash pygos. And also follow me on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash pygos all right so um that is uh pretty much it so 
when certain movements will happen in Bitcoin, I'll go live on Twitch and, you know, keep you guys updated. So that's why, uh, you know, the Twitch is in there. And sometimes we do our um, crypto market roundup on Twitch as well. So uh, perhaps we'll do it again tomorrow. Um, maybe we'll, I'll do a video. We'll, we'll see. I'll, you will see an announcement on the CryptoPies feed or CryptoPies blog and also on Twitter. So, um, yeah, just look forward to that. So, yeah, guys, both telegrams will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button. And if you've got any questions at all, leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.